Do you know how you can use group by function in Power App? Hi, this is Krupali from Know How Academy. So let's start with me. Now let's see what we are going to see in this video. Now let me explain you with the help of scenario. I have two tables. The first table is department table and the second table is employee table. Now in this employee table, department ID is a reference key or you can call it as a foreign key. Now in this department uh, table, this department ID is a primary key and I have designed a screen and this screen will show you the data of the department, how many departments are there and department wise detailed information of employee, what is the name of the employee, what is the salary of employee, you can display anything and here I want to display the summary of each department what type of summary I am displaying, how many employees are there and what are the total amount of salary that we are providing to the employee which is coming from the particular department. Okay, so this is the IT department, total salary this much we are providing and there are two employees and the second is the sales department. In sales department, these are the employees, total salary, that type of thing we are providing and th these are the employees. So this way I am, uh, I want to display the data. So let's design a same thing for demo. Okay, so let me go to the app, create, create a blank app and giving the name, let's say test group, group and click on create. Okay, now here I, I, I'm displaying the data in a form of gallery control or in a form of uh, department wise information. So let me take a gallery control. Uh, this is the blank. This time I'm taking a blank vertical gallery. And here, if you can check it out here in that screen, here I'm displaying the information inside one uh, template in I am showing the another template so that is called gallery control inside a gallery control so let me add the controls first of all okay I need to click on gallery and click on insert label oh it's not showing give me a second okay gallery click on that and click on here and edit okay gallery control and here again I am taking the uh, gallery vertical gallery for that okay and here let me adjust the size so i can display like that and for displaying the total number of employee and total salary i'm taking two labels let me just give a proper name to each and every control Okay, so I have finished giving the name of the each and every uh, control. Then the next thing is I need to uh, give the data source to that gallery control. Okay, so I am giving the data source of uh, employee and displaying the data. So let me just go to that and here this item uh, you can write it down the data source. You can select the data source. Let's say uh, employee data source you can select it okay uh, where why it is not showing okay let me check it out okay the second thing that uh, we forget is that we need to add the uh, tables in that so first of all i need to add the data source here and then i can use that table so that's why i need to click on add data and let me uh, add the table department as well as let me add the table employee okay so these two in, uh, tables i have added and what i will do here at the screen or at the app load or you can say on start and on start event i am loading the data from table to the collection okay 
so let me write a code for that okay i'm copy pasting the code so no need to write a code again and again in front of you okay so from this two department in this two collection i am loading the data okay so let me just click on run on start and check it out collection is made here there is a employee collection and there is a department collection now what i need to do i need to add the data or i need to add this data source to this so uh, what i will do here in the items i will write group by okay so basically group by will do a group of the department and respective employee so group by and i am selecting the employee then i am right selecting based on which column i want to perform a group by and i am giving a new column to a new column name which will show the group wise information so group department and complete the bracket and here i am i will select here this item dot department id so department id is displaying properly now the second thing is that i want to display the information of employee who is from each department so you may have a question how group by information you we can visualize it so let me just take one table and load the data into the collection and th this is for testing purpose to show you how the data will look in group by okay so here click on that and write a code clear collect and i'm creating a test collection test collection okay let me give a proper name test collection and complete the bracket then writing a group by function we have written the same thing in the gallery control so let me select the from which collection okay group by department id and here group of department okay and let me just save it and run it let me click on the button and let's check it okay the test collection is made and you can check it out see we have done a group by by the department id so here department 1 2 and 3 now in this collection another collection is created why because under the department one so many employees are there so click on that you will able to see the respective information of employee who is from that particular department so this is the department one employee now department 2 when you click on you can check it like that okay and same for department 3 now the ne you may the next question is you may have a question that how we can display a nested collection information in this gallery control so let me click on this gallery control and on item you need to write this item dot the column name which contain the group information so we have given a column name to the group department okay so here these things are done the next thing is you need to write you need to display the image on that okay so for that you need to write this item dot now you will see that in that nested department we have a column called employee id employee name employee image and salary so here you can see that when you click on this item dot so you can check it out employee image so image is displaying here and here uh, you want to display the name of the employee so this item dot name you can check it out and here you want to display the salary information okay so this item dot emp salary you can check it out now the next thing is here we want to display the total number of employee department wise so click on that and go there and here we want to count the number of information so how you can display let me just write first a simple code that total employees employees are okay and then we want to concat it so sum 
okay sum and we want to sum up sum up the all information which is there in that gallery so you need to write a name of the gallery control so gallery uh, employee dot all items then we want to count the information based on the whatever or you can just check it out all employees dot count okay and you will able to see the count of that information okay so this way you can display the information of uh, total employees using that department the second thing is that we want to display the total salary that we are providing to that employee or that particular department employee so here the same thing we can do it now okay so total salary total salary equal to or you can just write it and then m person sign and here you need to write sum sum then we need to write uh, gallery employee dot sorry dot all items um, all items and we want to sum up the by employee salary so select that and okay so you will this you will uh, see the employee salary okay and let me put here the little bit space so you can check it out so total salary like this okay and here this button i have created to show you just a demo how the data is loaded into that okay so let me just delete the information okay let me delete the button and give a proper heading to that gallery okay so here uh, sorry not in that but out of the gallery we want to add the button and label so click on the screen add a text label and here i am displaying the department name okay and here i am displaying the detail information of the department okay so let me just adjust the height and width detail information of department okay and you can align it center you can uh, just do it uh, formatting by your own okay and here if you have seen that we are displaying the information of here uh, like department name not department id now the question arise from where we will get the date department name so we can use a lookup function to get the respective name of that department okay so we will write it like this okay we will use lookup function so look up and then we will write from which table we want to look it up so tbl department and department id equal to this item dot department id complete the bracket and we want to display the department name okay so you can check it out the department name is coming so here we use a lookup function so lookup function will basically match the this department id with the respective department id from the table and from that table it will fetch the department name okay so let me just expand as so let me just collapse it and check it out okay so you can check it out this is the employee detail information you can see department wise so here we use the concept of group by plus we use the nested gallery that is inside a gallery we are adding one more gallery so i hope you understand how to use group by and power app thank you for choosing nohow academy as your source of it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate to the tech world if you have any question don't hesitate to reach out us it has been a pleasure to share this information with you stay curious and keep learning